Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thanks for tuning in again. Let me just tell you, I don't know why it's not as easy as everyone makes it look. I have been struggling. So throughout this video, I think it's because I was just kind of like, okay, I'm just gonna press record and everything's gonna work out. No, I don't know why part of this video that I'm gonna show you slowed down like crazy. So sometimes that we were talking, um, it just kind of like erased the voice. So I'm kind of doing like a voiceover. I'm, like I said, I'm still trying to figure out my style of video so just hang in there so what i'm going to show you today is a vlog i went to mount charleston with belia um i went to specifically a cabin i saw like a really cute cute cabin vibes so i was like let's go outside let's touch some grass let's get away from this vegas heat because it's around 105 degrees right now and in mount charleston it's 85 so it's literally like 25 degrees 20 20 20 degrees lower cooler I'm gonna tell you a little bit about Mount Charleston. Um, I don't really know any fun facts, honestly. So I found a cabin for $99. It came out to $111. Um, they do a sale randomly. It's normally $123 per room per night. Yes, um, I mean, that's the cheapest because they also have other other cabins for more. I think it goes based off of the view. Honestly, don't quote me on that. Just do your research, honestly. Um, I'm just here for a good time, okay? I'm, not, I'm just here for a good time. So definitely look more into it if you want to go. But the cheapest cabins I found were $123. But on specific like days when they haven't really been getting booked, they're $99 which comes out to $111 with taxes. So we just did a quick day trip. If you're looking for a cute, quick getaway with your bestie or your significant other, honestly, I highly recommend this because it's literally like, depending on where you live in Vegas, 30 to 45 minutes away, the weather, like I said, is so much nicer. And it's honestly really green. I hadn't been to Mount Charles in a long time, I feel like. I don't know if it was because of all these hurricanes or what, but to me, it just looked so much green and it was so cute because you go in to check in they're a little outdated so they have like a dvd player which i haven't touched a dvd player in years and then they have a huge selection of dvd players which i thought was so cute and like they have horror comedy the people were so nice at check-in we decided to get the notebook to watch honestly i don't even know why we picked the Roman the notebook i think i told velia that that was like my favorite movie so she was like okay let's watch it because it's been a long time since i've watched it but the room was honestly perfect it had a huge bathtub personally I don't know if I wanted to use that because it didn't look the cleanest. I don't know. It, it It's not a modern cabin, you know? It's a cabin. Like, that's the best way to describe it. Because if you... I've been to a few cabins recently. Cabins, are like bunny ears cabins. Like, it's not really like a cabin anymore. Um, it's not like the wood cabins. And that's the vibe I was going for, you know? And it's not... I feel like those are a little bit more outdated. So it's not going to be like the cleanest. It's not going to look the cleanest to me. I also thought it was crazy how the bathroom light was red i don't know what that was about like if anybody wants to comment below and tell me what it what it's for i'm guessing it has to do with something with bugs speaking of bugs there was a good amount of spider webs uh, on top of our bed and that might be a red flag for you but for me personally i'm like right now i don't know if you guys have been watching i don't know how accurate this is but there's been a bunch of people talking about mosquitoes and like i don't even know that we're just getting something by mosquitoes from what i know spiders kill mosquitoes but that's just what i'm trying to think because that makes me feel better i'm like mosquitoes uh spiders are here so they'll kill them but yeah we had a, like a, a decent amount of spider webs on top of our bed and i didn't notice until we were literally about to walk out and i don't have a video for you guys so i can show you but honestly that was not a red flag for me i was like i actually feel safer because i don't want mosquitoes biting me in the middle of the night there was also a really cute fireplace it did work um i used it later that night and then honestly i haven't been an outdoorsy like going to small towns kind of girl recently and I, it like, it reminds me that like, don't expect anything great from the food of small towns that like, I don't know, some, I might get some hate for that, 
but they're not foodie towns. Like I literally, I'll, I'll show you guys this video um, next week, but I went to Zion recently and I didn't want to tell the girls, but I'll, cause I didn't want to complain, but I'm like, yeah, this food is not it. And then I went to this cabin restaurant and I'm like, yeah, it's just like, what can you expect? You know what I mean? You're kind of in the middle of nowhere. So I wish I would have gotten some steaks, but honestly, I didn't look anything about, I didn't see anything about grills. And either way, I wanted to show you guys if there was a restaurant in case, you know, you didn't want to. Um, pack any extra stuff like if it was my choice I would have brought stuff to grill but I was like no I want to show you guys if there's a restaurant what kind of food there is luckily also Veli brought a bunch of snacks I was really happy about that she bought a, we went to Greenland recently and she found we both found a bunch of Korean snacks and yeah I don't know it was it was hidden and you know, I totally forgot to bring s'more stuff because we did have a fireplace and I was like, oh, we did try to also hike cause there was like, we, in front of the cabin, there was like a picnic area and I guess there was a few hikes open, but it was getting late. It was getting late. We didn't want to miss the sunset. So we were like, let's just go eat. <laughs> The other cabin that is close by the Mount Charleston, like lodging area, whatever, the resort at Mount Charleston does look a little nicer. But honestly, like I said, it, it looks like it's like more of like a hotel vibes from my perspective of how it looks outside. And I wanted more like middle of nowhere cabin vibes, which is I feel like it's which I feel like is exactly what I got from the cabin we rented. I really do appreciate everyone listening in, everyone watching. I feel like I'm just rambling most of the video, but I'm not trying to do like a super edited, super like perfect video, I think. I don't even know, like I said. So I really appreciate you guys watching. If you do have any questions, like I will try to look things up and find it for you. I will probably go hiking this week to Mount Charleston and find out what trails are legit open so comment below if you want me to do that because i i will like i didn't prior to the video and i probably should have but if you guys are really interested in seeing what trails are open i can definitely make a video for you maybe not a full youtube video but if you comment i'll probably give you my answers once i find them or if you follow my instagram or tiktok i will probably post a video there if you guys are really interested excited to try this it has a bison elk and what else uh, chupacabra <laughs> <laughs> i can't remember <laughs> it, yeah it has a bunch of stuff yeah girl get it <laughs> Hi everyone so we're back in our cabin Velia is actually at a overlook and we're trying to see who gets the best sunset view. So we're not sure. I'm here chilling, vibing. I'm going to pour myself some wine. And yeah, just wait for the sunset. It is cur it's currently 6.54, so I have about an hour for the sunset. I'm just going to read my book and drink some wine and wait for her and wait for the sunset. I am currently drinking a bottle of Sanders Family Winery Cabernet. Um, I actually just bought this like on Saturday or something Sunday maybe um, because I went to Pahrump it's about an hour and a half from Las Vegas and I didn't get to show you guys but I do have a video on my Instagram TikTok if you guys want to watch that um, but it was pretty chill like there's what I like about Pahrump last time I went to Pahrump there was a couple places that had 
free tastings. One of them had a free wine tasting. The other one had a free rum tasting. And one of the places was Sanders Family. And I didn't just want to go and get a free tasting. So I bought a couple of wines. I did really like them. I bought four bottles, actually. Um, two Cabernets because I love Cabernets. And then I bought a Rosé, which I was really surprised with because I'm not a Rosé girly. Like, I only ever drink Cabernet. But since we tried the free tasting, the free wine tasting, I was like, wow, I actually really like their rosé. So yeah, so I'll show you guys what it is. I'll show you guys what the rosé looks like. But right now I'm pouring myself a little glass of Cabernet while I wait, while I wait for Velia. And like, I didn't even notice all of this before just now, but all my stuff is bitten up from my dogs I'm like ah have you guys seen that TikTok trend that's like I don't want to see the good boy I want to see the bad dog and I'm like before I came here I literally had to clean up a bunch of stuff that they had like gone out of the trash can I a lot of the times I don't have like the trash can hidden and I feel like they can easily get into the trash can and I did a lot of the times I don't put it up on top of the counter if wow if you're a, a wine connoisseur and if you're watching me open this I'm really bad at multitasking so you're probably like girl what the fuck are you doing I swear oh I didn't even realize it was a twist off yay I didn't even have to embarrass myself and show you guys how bad my bottle opener looks like and I'm gonna pick the pink one I already know how this tastes like. I'm just pouring myself a little glass of wine while I wait for Velia. I'm not trying to finish it. <sighs> it smells so good. Ah, delicious. I'm not a wine connoisseur, so I don't know. But, like, I feel like I do drink enough Cabernet to know if it's, like, a good or a bad one, you know? And I, I really like this one. Mm-hmm. I can't remember how much it was. I can't remember how much it was. I just remember that it was under $20. And right now I put on my jacket. It's really not that cold, but I could just, it's just cabin, cabin vibes. So I'm like, ooh, it's going to start getting a little chilly. So I put on my Pepsi um, Letterman jacket. I am obsessed with this Pepsi Letterman jacket. The next morning they do have like continental breakfast, which is literally like four things. But you know what? There was coffee and that's all I care about. We were able to go outside and oh my gosh, the view from that place, from that little cabin area where they have the breakfast was so pretty. And we were just there for an hour right before we checked out and uh, it was just so nice. While I was waiting for the sunset at the cabin, I saw a deer, it was the cutest thing. It was so majestic, you know, cause it was so random and he was just like, well he, she, I don't, I'm not sure. But he, she, he was like hiding behind bushes and I kind of saw him and he kind of saw me and he would move a little bit and then he would stop and he would like look at me and then I would try to get closer and then he would stop and look at me and it was just the cutest thing because we were going back and forth. Um, so that was really nice and then we ended up watching The Notebook and we drank a little wine. We were filling ourselves. We were chilling. We played. Did we play a game? Yeah, we played games. Um, and yeah, it was honestly the perfect little getaway. I absolutely loved it. Um, I highly recommend getting a room there, you know, I'm sure I, they, I do believe they do camping as well, which I do want to do that soon. Let me comment below if you want me to go camping for you to check it out. Um, I wish I knew exactly what trails were open. I'm not a thousand percent sure because I did call and I feel like they only gave me five, five different hikes, but then I was looking online and it showed like 10. So I'm like, okay, which is it? So I would highly recommend calling. Yeah, calling in advance to see where you can go and K Lee Canyon is open so if you guys want to go to Lee Canyon definitely check that out um, I also saw someone else posting about Lee Canyon recently so I was like oh that's really it looked really cool actually so I recommend Lee Canyon I recommend this cabin it might not be the cleanest but I highly recommend it for shits and giggles um i mean it's a cabin you know it's not like you're here for a five-star resort i don't freaking know velia is demonstrating how you turn on the fireplace look at it it works so well 
Yesterday we used it. I didn't take a video of that because we were getting litty. <laughs> <laughs> But it was so fun. I know. It was so chill, the vibes. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Like, comment, subscribe. I don't even know, honestly. Peace out.